Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. Hope you are having a wonderful holiday season. I think if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I, I kind of like buffets. Growing up, my parents owned different Chinese restaurants. The last one was a buffet, which I worked at since I was about 14 years old. And we lived upstairs. So I could literally grab a plate of General Show's chicken on my way to do homework. Also, I talked about this before. I hate food regret. You know that feeling you get when you're out with friends and someone else orders a much better dish than you? That doesn't happen at a buffet. Even before I started doing YouTube, I would save up money fly to Vegas, stay at the cheapest hotel possible, and just eat three buffets a day. And of course, since doing this show, I've been to quite a few buffets around the world, and people always ask me about my favorites. There are a lot, and it was really hard to narrow it down. But as of now, here are, in my opinion, the five best buffets in the world. Starting at number five, the Nordic Lodge. Now, this isn't just any buffet. It's a paradise for seafood lovers. And for someone who's lived in New York and admired this place for years, going here for the first time, I remember. I was more excited than going to Disney. From what I remember, there's different sections of food, just like any buffet. First thing you're gonna wanna hit up, of course, is the seafood. We have some cooked seafoods here, some scampi king crab legs, always awesome. Freshly shucked oysters right here. This is the star attraction. Well, one of them. Once you pass the seafood salad, the cold seafood dishes, freshly boiled lobster right here. Look at that. Snow crab, lobster, potatoes, there's fresh clams, clam chowder stuff, mushrooms. So if that's not enough to get you excited, let me show something else. This is the grill room. Come on, you can't just have surf, you gotta have some turf as well. So this is what they do here. So steaks here, you got prime rib right there. So can't miss that. Now, let me, let me show you what I was really excited about when I came here last and I'm still so excited about today. This is something I've never seen in a buffet ever. All you can eat, drink, slurp, whatever you want, haagen bar right here. So they can make you banana splits, sundaes, milkshakes, brownies, sundaes, creamsicles, root beer floats, all with haagen ice cream. Obviously at a buffet, you don't want to fill up on, on this, but that's hard. I know I'm eating at least two milkshakes today and a sundae. After that, if you haven't got enough sweets, you got a dessert bar right here. Pies, cakes, cookies, chocolate covered strawberries, chocolate covered cherries. All right, I gotta put this camera down and start eating. Thank you. I'll take some butter, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Round one. First plate on the table. So I'm gonna shoot for about 10 lobsters today, as a minimum. Just a little history about this place, really cool. Uh, so they started out as a little restaurant, just kind of uh, providing for the local cabin community around this lake. And eventually the cabins faded, but this restaurant grew to be the iconic place that it is today and every single day. Fresh crab is flown in, fresh oysters, uh, fresh lobsters, of course. I got the calamari, the mussel, and the conch salad. Oh, that is so good already. Lobster, mac and cheese. Again, this is kind of going against my no noodles, no heavy stuff when it comes to a buffet, but. Are you telling me you can look that lobster mac and cheese in the face and not want to eat it? No, you can. Mm. Oh, that's sweet. Snow crab, as good as it was. Just a precursor to the main event. One of 10, that's my goal today. Candy up the sea, which makes this place pretty much the ocean's candy store. That's so sweet. That is as fresh of a lobster as you can get. 
anywhere. Also, there's a lobster in their tank, and of course, this will never be on the buffet. It's a golden lobster. I think they said the chance of finding a golden lobster is one in 30 million. Anyway, the Nordic Lodge is probably the only place in the country where they actually serve fresh live lobster on their buffet. I think the first time I was there, I had about 15 lobsters. This is really not just a meal, it is an experience. And after you're done, you can walk outside, there's long games you can play where you can just walk around, enjoy the scenery. So if you are ever in Rhode Island and looking for a dining experience that's really just out of this world, the Nordic Lodge is where you need to be. Number four, the Lobster Seafood Buffet at the Hotel Nico in Saigon, Vietnam. This was my first time visiting Vietnam and what a way to meet inside Hotel Nico is beyond anything I've experienced so far in my food loving life. So this is all seafood here. Appetizer. Appetizer. Yeah, the oyster. The fresh oyster from France. Fresh oyster from France. Yes. Cannabis. Finger food. Finger food. That is appetizing. You have the green mushroom from New Zealand. You whip tartar sauce. So much variety. It's not just simply like get, get, a, get some salad and throw it into a plate. Smoked salmon from Scotland. This is like a combination of just different foods from around, from around the world. What, what is that? Steam cake. And she's rolling it into yeah, like a fresh it, yeah. spring roll here. Salad bar, cheese kind of, we're gonna, we're gonna bypass the salads a little bit because there, there are more exciting stuff ahead of us. I promise you guys. That, this is crazy Today guys. they have Peking duck. A Peking duck. And it's served like this? Yes. You ordered with the chef. Uh -huh. They will set over on preparation to cook for you. Uh -huh. And after that, just pick up to your table and enjoy it. It's it. brought to my table. Yeah. This looks like something I would get at a, at a four or five star restaurant. Look, this, there's no way this looks like something I get from a buffet. Yes. Like zero, never seen it before. You haven't seen the most exciting part yet. This, there's a part in this buffet that I'm so excited about. Let's keep going. Let's go inside. You have hot pot. At a buffet. Yeah, the hot pot here is over there. I mean, I've been to all you can eat hot pot buffets and I've been to all you can eat buffets. I never seen them together. And this is just incredible quality of ingredients. You know, this is a marriage made in buffet hot pot heaven. This is a grill station. We use this charcoal grill. Uh -huh. This real all the seafood here. And the lobster we have more than nine recipes to cook and we serve the lobster at the table. I order it from the table. You guys yeah. cook it the way I want and yeah. bring the lobster to my table. Yeah. And the most exciting thing for me at this buffet was of course the seafood, the fresh lobster. And here, they don't just give you butter to dip it in. You can have your lobster made nine different ways and it's cooked to order. I tried the chili lobster, which was sweet and spicy, but my favorite was the cheese grilled lobster. That was a fusion of flavors that I still dream about. I remember after going to this buffet, I think I called it at the time the best buffet I've ever been to in the world. And it was, and if I ever go back to Vietnam, which I hope to do, this buffet will definitely be on the reheat list. Number three, Navio at the Ritz Carlton Half Moon Bay. This was one of the most luxurious buffet experiences I've ever had. And this was not a traditional buffet. You can order anything you want to eat off the menu as much as you want. Imagine a dining experience where every dish is a masterpiece, where unlimited doesn't mean compromising on quality. Each dish was a revelation. Take the caviar tasting for instance. First course is here, caviar tasting course. So there's sturgeon, trout, bullfin, of course some sour cream, little pancakes. They also brought out homemade butter and homemade pastries as well. All three caviars on my little pancake. <laughs> I just taste luxurious, a little briny, very poppin'. Also the chef brought over some smoothie they made in house. Mmm, that's good too. Next is a oyster tasting platter. There's champagne foam and Bloody Mary, wasabi, that is so good. Usually oysters to me, it's kind of just like a slimy entity and you're just really tasting hot sauce. Here, the oyster's got a snappy texture. The sauce is wonderful. The wasabi especially, not too spicy, perfect mouthfeel. The champagne foam is ever so light and creamy. But it wasn't just about the starters. The main courses were where the fine dining aspect truly shines. First main dish, scallop. Deliciously seared. Surrounded by truffle polenta, a little bit of greens. Oh, this is perfectly cooked. Oh, it smells so truffly. Ready for another round? For mm -hmm. so Thank far? you. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that scallop with a truffle polenta around wow. it. Wow. This is one of the best scallops okay. I ever put in my mouth. This is so good. I need at least 10 of these. I have limited time, but I will have unlimited stomach space for this. 
Mm, the scallops are so perfectly seared, amazingly delicate and sweet, and so buttery. And again, that truffle aroma is just next to none. This is where I'm gonna start digging into the freshly made bread. Look at this sesame croissant. Actually, this is like a everything croissant. Dunk it in there in the truffle sauce. Mmm, this is good beyond words. And so is that croissant, by the way. This is an amazing croissant. Hope we get unlimited ones of these, too. Boy, it's so good. Oh, something that smells really good just appeared on the table. This is a low temperature egg truffle on top. Oh, so beautiful. A little asparagus in here. Mushrooms as well. Oh my gosh, look at how much truffle you get with this. From my truffle hunt in Italy, I did learn that truffle goes perfect with a little runny egg. Mm, wow, truffle obviously so incredibly earthy. Egg is so smooth and soaky and perfectly highlights that delicious truffle flavor. Throw in a little bit of mushrooms as well to enhance that earthiness. Then a little crunch from the asparagus for a change in texture. It's like eating pure runny silk. Next is a Wagyu burger. Oh, the bun is so soft and toasty. So garlic aioli, there's a giant piece of bacon on top of the burger. There's mushrooms on the bun. This thing just came out of the grill because it is piping hot and so juicy. Let's look at that. Perfectly cooked. Whoa, all the juice is like leaking down my hands. I bet you this is gonna be delicious. Mmm, this is a great burger. Patty is so juicy, deliciously charred, so it seals in all that juice inside. The bacon is just perfect. Oh, this is like the juiciest little slider I've ever gotten. Mm. Every bite, I'm just slurping out the burger juice. The buns are so buttery and toasty. The mushroom is delicious. The sauce is fantastic. That's so good, it hurts. This is the dish I've been waiting for. Lobster with trout caviar on top. Mm. It's just so sweet. Sauce is creamy. The caviar just pops. Every time it pops, it's like a little umami explosion that enhances the sweetness and the flavor of the lobster. That round was tremendous. Like serving turf, the burger, the salmon, the lobster. I might like the salmon most of all from that round. That salmon is it's not like the lobster is bad. It's great. The salmon is just so good. All right, last three dishes. I think I got about 20 minutes left. The short rib is so crazy. First of all, it's so soft, don't need a knife. Here's a fork and the meat just completely falls apart. Red wine sauce is perfect. Mushroom is a delicious touch. Also, I think the bottom is a, some kind of cheesy potato puree. Mmm, that's so smooth. It's kind of a hefty dish though. I'm definitely filling up. Next up, tenderloin. Tenderloin is good. It's probably not my favorite thing I've had today. It is a little dry on the outside. Inside is really nice and tender. Last meat dish of the meal, rack of lamb over peas. Oh, that lamb is so good. That's definitely the best out of the meat items. It's so tender and scrumptious. There's good amounts of fats on here. Oh, that's so tender. The gravy is good. The peas provides a really nice contrast with a sweet crunch. Definitely best red meat on the menu. It's the lamb. And how could I forget the dessert tower they brought out? Each one was a work of art from the delicate panna cotta to the rich upside down pineapple cake. It wasn't all you can eat, but with the finesse and craft of a high end fine dining restaurant. This is, I think, still by far the most expensive buffet I've ever been to in the world. But I think for a special occasion, you gotta try this place out. Number two, Crab 52 in Seoul, South Korea. This is a buffet I just went to a couple months ago, and I I'm still thinking about it. I've been to many seafood buffets worldwide, but this place takes the crown. Located on the 52nd floor, that's why it's called Craft 52, it's not only a feast for the palate, but also for the eyes with stunning views over the city and the Han River. And you would think the view will be the first thing you notice when you walk into the restaurant. It's not. As soon as you walk in, you're greeted by a breathtaking display of lobsters and crabs fresh from the tank. 
just chilling, literally, on ice. This is an all-you-can-eat fine dining experience with a focus, of course, on the freshest seafood. Again, there's not a lot of all-you-can-eat buffets around the world that serves live crab, live lobster. This is one of them. And here, every dish is a culinary masterpiece. There's a raw bar, beef tartare, salmon, truffle, scallops, crab, lobster, cocktail, red prawn, jumbo shrimp, carpaccio, lobster, tartare. Next to that, the salad bar, Greek salad, Caesar salad, giant oysters, Belgian caviar. Next, cooked dishes like lasagna, salmon, snow crab, paella. And you can get anything you want from the grill, which has lobster tail, scallops, prawns, and all different cuts of steaks. And then we'll take down the hallway and into the next section. Look at this. Wine island. This is where you get your Wagyu. And I've never seen this before. All you can eat uni on the buffet. There's also sea urchin roll, salmon roll, monkfish liver, all sorts of different sushi, sashimi, lobster, tuna, tuna belly, what the heck? Already made dishes like sea cucumber, clam with oyster sauce, Sichuan shrimp. You can get prepared dishes like garlic lobster, chili lobster, there's ginger crab, there's butter crab. We haven't even covered the desserts yet. Real authentic gelato, melons, mangoes, grapes, like I said, Overwhelming. This is the craziest buffet I've ever seen in my life. So they only have one sitting a night, starting at six, goes till nine o'clock, three hours. You get as much as you want. And as soon as you sit down, you get a welcome dish of steamed crab, steamed lobster. Again, this is all fresh. Like none of this is frozen. I never seen a live lobster buffet outside of Rhode Island before. All the lobster buffets I've been to, except for the Nordic Lodge in Rhode Island has been frozen lobster. Not just fresh, fresh as you can get. This is how they welcome you. As soon as you walk in, sit down, you get a plate of fresh lobster. And this one in particular, it's got a umami filled innards. And this has been sitting on my table for about 15 minutes while I was looking, admiring the buffet. Mm. Still so sweet. There's the best stuff right here. All that roe and innards, duck that is some butter. Yeah, that's a sweet lobster. Look at that fresh, glistening snow crab meat. Drizzle some butter on that. Everything is just so sweet. Yeah, right here. They leave all that nice joint meat. Look at that. Mm. There's just so much to try. The way they're preparing these dishes is not like a buffet. Each dish is like a special course that's being served to someone. So nothing is mass produced. There's so much attention to detail. Beef tartare with caviar on top. A little bit of toast. Truffle on this as well. Melt in your mouth. Earthy and fragrant with a nice umami kick from the caviar. Scallops. Wow. Quality of these dishes. On parallel, just the most succulent, tender, sweet scallops. A little bit of acid, tons of flavor. Look at this salmon with avocado, a little tomato on top. Mm. There's a grill section next to the seafood section where you just place your water. You can have lobster tail or scallops or shrimp, three different cuts of steak, and you place your order, tell them your table number, and they bring it right over to you. I've never seen uni on a buffet before, and they got multiple types of it. There's salmon roll, there's monkfish liver, all super expensive stuff. This place also has tempura, and you can get whatever you want. So I got some tempura scallops. Mm. And beef, perfect. Subtle crunch on the outside. with that sweet scallop enveloped in the middle. Beef is awesome too. Next up, the orders I place came. Grilled lobster tail, grilled scallops, and also different cuts of steak. Scallops grilled to absolute perfection. Wow. 
That's about as perfect of a serious caliber as you can get. Also, all you can eat hanwu is offered at this buffet. This is a meat I like even more than Japanese wagyu and it's only available in South Korea. And what really sets this buffet apart is the attention to detail. Each dish, whether it's garlic lobster, chili lobster, or ginger crab, is prepared with the finesse of a high-end restaurant. There are so many things here you would never see at any other seafood buffet anywhere in the world. And of course, at $200 a person, this is the most expensive buffet in South Korea. But for seafood enthusiasts, it is an unforgettable culinary journey. So if you are ever in Seoul and looking for an extraordinary seafood experience, this buffet should be at the top of your list. Finally, the number one best buffet in the world, in my opinion, Le Grand Buffets in the Bon France. This place isn't just a dining experience, it's a journey into the heart of culinary extravagance. I traveled four hours by train from Paris to Le Bon, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. I would describe this place as the mothership of all buffets. I've never seen anything like this in my life. The moment you walk in, it's like walking into a buffet palace. I was completely lost. Luckily, they give me a map. Yes, you need a map to navigate this buffet. Then I saw it, a cascade of lobsters at the Lobster Waterfall. I mean, I've been to the Louvre, the Met. Still, this is the most jaw-dropping thing I've ever seen. There's also a cheese station that holds a Guinness record for its 111 varieties of cheese. It's like stepping into a gourmet paradise. The spread is so vast with nine different types of foie gras and an array of 50 homemade pastries. Oh, also forgot to mention about the nine different types of a barrel called ham sliced right in front of you. Overwhelming will be an understatement at this buffet. The seafood station is a treasure trove for seafood aficionados, boasting everything from lobsters to crabs to prawns. Where I spend a lot of time though is at the live cooking station where you can order any traditional French dish off their menu and watch it come to life tailor made to order. It would help to speak and be able to read some French though or just be really good at charades. So running into a little problem. The place where you place all your orders, you gotta speak French. We gotta be able to read French. I can do neither of that. And they're not numbers, so it's really hard to try to figure out how to order this stuff because I wanna get all the dishes. So, so far, look at this. Roasted scallop, ha ha ha. This is freaking amazing. Cheesy, tons of mushrooms, creamy sauce, and absolutely crunchy and toasted on top. Truffle in here as well. This is some amazing. Amazing toasted scallop. Mm, this took a lot of sign language to order. Second dish, this is a, some kind of duck pastry. Moral mushrooms, here's the pastry. Oh, oh, my fork went through that like it was nothing. Mm. This is the greatest pastry I've ever had. It's literally like eating air. Oh, there's fragoire in here as well. This is wonderful. Mm. With duck breast and a crispy moral mushroom on top of this cheese. Amazing sauce. We've got to get a rest of them. Things of poached eggs sitting on top. Oh, oh yeah. Good to see you too. Oh, that's pretty. It's sitting on top of something. I'm not sure. I think it's some kind of potato. Oh. It tastes like a multi-layered potato dish underneath a beautifully poached egg. It's magnificent. And the variety didn't just stop at the main courses. The dessert room was a realm of its own, a sweet finale to an already sumptuous feast. This is the largest dessert chef section I've ever seen in a buffet. And this being in France, I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. Wow. I mean, again, the most ginormous chocolate fountain I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. I can't even tell you what half of these desserts are, but they look amazing. And besides the chocolate fountain, there's also white chocolate, dark chocolate, grape station, of course, and this is the ice cream room. It just looks like a, such a pretty room. Oh, wow. Some kind of coconut, lemon, pineapple. These are sorbet inside the respective fruits. The desserts on this buffet. It's on a whole different level. I mean, this country, you expect their dessert section to be delicious, and oh my God, it's so delicious. 
those chocolates are, it's too good. The chocolate is so incredibly smooth and silky. It's almost too silky. And just when you're kind of lost in all that delicious silkiness, the crunch from the cookie crust wakes you up. Dessert section in this place, eating it, it almost gives you an outer body experience. I don't even want to talk. I just want to sit here. When I was taking bites of these desserts, I don't even want to talk. I just want to sit here and just quietly indulge. A little pineapple. Ooh, can't even open it. Mmm, oh. pineapple sorbet. This is actually a really good conclusion item. And here's the best part. All of this, the magnificence of this buffet, the quality, the variety, cost just 57 US dollars. I think it was less when I filmed the video. And that includes everything. This is not just the best buffet deal. It's the epitome of buffet dining on this planet. And there you have it, guys. Those are, in my opinion, the top five buffets in the world, of course. Like I said, it was so hard to narrow it down. There's so many amazing buffet experiences everywhere you go. Miami has a ton of great seafood buffets. Singapore, of course, amazing. But as of now, those are my favorites. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.